Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh -huh. Hey, Cam. Hun. Uh, Nihoko's coming in. Oh, gosh. Lots of returning faces, some faces that I recognize. It's nice to see everyone. We'll wait maybe for mm, two uh, more minutes, maybe three more minutes till I get started, uh, just to see that everybody is able to come in. Hi, Ms. Nihoko. Aha. Come on, I should do Ms. Mihogo's at uh, ASQ right now, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep, I'm in ASQ right now. So this is, so like Kim knows what my usual background looks like, right? This isn't my usual house, um, but I get out tomorrow. Uh, Freedom. Tomorrow. <laughs> and we have two other special guests joining us today. We have Mr. Nick. And we have Mr. Witt. So if we need any translations, he's here too. And how's everybody else doing? Does, it, does everybody know how to use the chat feature? Maybe you could uh, just use the chat for a second right now. I'm going to type something in there and just say, how are you doing? Just to see if you're able to uh, respond and you can ask questions or whatever right here. Note, I'm okay. Thanks, pun. Very fast. Mm -hmm. I've got my coffee. And at 10.03, we'll probably get started. Uh, apologies, uh, we, we switched our, uh, the link uh, over the weekend, or, uh, and so I'm glad that everybody was able to find the new link and join us now. This will be recorded, so if any of your friends or anybody that you know uh, does need to see this later on, I'll put a link and then share it with a uh, anybody and then if you want to watch it again you can see it as well um i'll just say up front that if you were here to, uh, at last year's seesaw presentation then you probably don't need to be at this one this is kind of a getting started uh how does the family app work what to expect and if you were at the presentation last year that i did uh where we were face to face uh this is the same presentation essentially uh, Nick is going to possibly add on a few more things uh, that might be pressing questions that you have, uh, and maybe you have new questions that are generated. But uh, if you are here going, okay, what's all new that I'm going to learn? Uh, there's not new stuff. This is getting us going. So it's, it's kind of for brand new uh, parents to our Seesaw realm. Kim, do you have a question? Uh, my, my email. My email changed and I can't get in Seesaw. Your email changed. Okay, Kemp, I'm gonna write down uh, that we're gonna, we're gonna figure your uh, little issue out after, okay? And I will get you set up, get Kem set up. Pun, do you have the same type of question? Or, or, or? The problem? link, the link, I cannot use the link um, for the Seesaw and the mathematics and the other links and res kids. And res kids cannot use them. Okay. So, Cam and Pan, uh, I will get you set up after this presentation. Okay. We're not going to do tech help at the beginning. Um, but if you want to stick around. Okay. So, if you if you guys want to do something else and just have this listening in the background, you're, you're welcome to do that. And just keep yourself on mute. And then uh, I'll get you figured out after. Okay. It is 10.04, we've just had another person join us, but I'm going to uh, get us started. Okay. And I will take uh, all tech issues and tech help uh, at the end. So uh, before I get started, I do need to share my screen and I'm gonna ask if you can see that. And okay, sharing screen now. Can I leave now? Okay, can you what? Can I leave now? Yeah, Kim, I'll, I'll uh, text uh, and uh, get, get you helped out after, okay? I've got your name written down. You can leave. You don't need to stay for this, okay? Pun as well. I'll email your, your uh, parents, okay? And say I'll help them after, okay? If you don't want to sit here for this presentation. Okay. Bye. -bye. Can, can you see the screen? Yes? Okay. Yes. Great. Uh, as I said, I'm Tom Johnson, and we have 
Nick Garvin is here to help and answer uh, deeper questions that I'm not able to answer. We also have Ms. Mihoko here and for translation was Mr. Witt. So for today, some things that we're going to look at, we're going to understand what CISA is and we'll watch a little video that explains that. I'm going to show you how to talk to learning designers through CISA and we'll do that uh, through the app. Um, I'm just going to ask that everybody mutes their microphone. Okay. I'm going to show you how to your, turn your notifications off um, because sometimes that's a, a complaint that parents have that they're getting too many notifications and they just want to go check it on their own. Uh, we'll look at comments and not only comments, but actually how to make them better because uh, we've all gotten used to saying, wow, yay, great. And I'm going to show you how to make them a little bit better. We'll look at some privacy because that could be a concern, but uh, CISA is really good about following uh, all international privacy laws and rules. We'll talk about announcements and responding via text and more. And announcements, I'm going to just say this up front, announcements right now are something that's going to come and it might be changing a little bit how it happens uh, throughout the year because CISA is updating their interface. And I'm not sure exactly when it's coming, but it is coming and soon that will change a little bit. I'll talk about that. Uh, there are now translation tools. We'll have a look at those. And then uh, I want to show you behind the scenes because sometimes some uh, parents are going, well, what are you doing actually? And I'll show you what the, uh, the learning designer and learning assistants and admin and everyone get to see uh, for what's going on, what's happening uh, with the data, with what the kids are uploading and things like that. So I'll just show you that. Uh, having fam other family members join, and I'll talk about uh, what I have a recommendation that you might not be obvious. But once I say it, it, you'll go, oh yeah, let's do that. And then uh, not that we want you to, but if you leave, or so I'm gonna show you um, how you can take the uh, everything with you because CISA makes that easy for you. And then of course, getting you logged on and then we'll, we'll get everything figured out and help people out with their tech issues. Finally, you might have uh, another child that you wanna add. So we'll, we'll get everybody set up and figuring you all out. Okay, so if you have any questions throughout, uh, please just use the chat. Okay, write anything in. Uh, sorry. Welcome to Seesaw. Seesaw is a portfolio that your student will use to showcase what they're learning and doing at school and share that with you, their family. They'll add photos, videos, drawings, voice recordings, notes, and much more to their learning journal. And you'll be able to see their amazing work right on your phone or computer whenever they post something new. Students love Seesaw because they're able to show what they know with lots of different tools and share their work with meaningful audiences, all while practicing those super important 21st century skills. Teachers love Seesaw because they're able to gain insights from all of their students, see student growth, and have all that classwork organized in one place. Parents love Seesaw because they can be closer to the classroom without being there every day and really understand how their student is doing. Teachers and parents are always in control of how student information is shared. Once you've connected to your child's account using the special invite code or link from your child's teacher, you can view all of their posted work. You'll only see your own child's work and messages that your teacher sends home. When something new is added, you'll get a notification. You can decide if you want notifications via email, push, or text message. Notifications can come each time something new is added or just once a day. You choose the settings you prefer. Once you follow the Seesaw notification, you can see what's going on in the classroom in real time. Teachers can also turn on options for you to like and comment on your child's work to encourage their learning. Remember, the best comments help us learn something new. Things like, wow, you did a great job because, have you considered? Interesting, this made me think of, I'm proud of you because, are great conversation starters. We're all learning together how to communicate and be our best selves online. You can leave a text comment or even a voice comment. Voice comments are perfect for younger learners. 
CESA takes your and your child's privacy seriously. We understand that you're trusting us to protect your child's information, and we promise to provide a service that keeps students safe. You can learn more on our website at web.cesa.me slash privacy. Your participation in your child's learning journey is the best way you can support them as they grow into a kind, curious, and empowered learner. Thank you for being part of the Seesaw family. Okay, that's a nice quick overview. So talking uh, to learning designers through Seesaw, I'm gonna jump out of the uh, presentation because I wanna show some things live. So let me just do that. So I've got uh, my iPad over here. Everybody can still see that, right? And if you're in the family app, notice that there's two apps here. So there's the family app and there's the class app. The students use the class app and we will use the family app, the parents, family and guardians. So when you first come into the family app, it should say something like this, what's new, easily view new updates, see recent posts for all of your children in the home tab. And you can browse your child's full portfolio for each class. And then introducing the inbox, receive messages from teachers and privately reply. And so that is one of the ways that we can have constant communication through uh, and to your learning designers. Now they would be expected to probably reply within 24 hours and usually between the times of about eight o'clock and four o'clock or maybe even five o'clock. But they might not apply, uh, reply at nighttime and they probably won't be able to reply on weekends, but they should be replying uh, any other time about 24 hours later. So if I'm in my, uh, this is my son's and I'm looking, I can see over on the right hand side that there's the inbox over here. And this is where I'll just come over. And right now I don't see a lot of messages or notifications. There's one message and I can click onto that and it just says, wishing you all a happy and safe uh, Loi Kutong. So that's from last year. There are also notifications and there's no, new, no notifications here, but if and when Mickey or uh, any of the learning designers are updating and putting uh, items on, those notifications will be there. And that's where uh, CISA has already uh, said that they will be linking you directly to that post, okay? So, learning designers, turning notifications off. Um, when you log into CISA, it will automatically, if you're on your phone, it will automatically start uh, sending you a lot of notifications and you might be thinking to yourself, I don't want all of these. So I would come up here. Can you see my cursor, by the way? Can you see the cursor? No. Y yes, yes, we can. We yeah. can. That's great then. I want you to be able to see. So I'm gonna come up here to my name and then I'm gonna come over here to the cog, which is the settings. And I'm gonna go into my account settings and from in here, this is where I want to change things. Now, I think by default, your email notifications say all and your push notifications say all. And uh, you might have this turned on. OK, so by default, I think that these are all on. Now, if you find that you're just getting all of these things, I would turn that off and I would turn those to never and I would turn this to never because I know that I'm going to go to the Seesaw app to check things, okay? If you're, if you're not one to check things, then leave those off, but that's how you do get rid of those if you find that they're just annoying. Okay, I'm gonna come back into here. Uh, real quick, how are we with translation? Uh, if there's anything that's going too fast, just please uh, you know, reach out to us. We have wit here. Uh, we're happy to go slower and take this step by step. So please, if we are going too fast, just put your hand up um, or, or, or send a message in the chat and we'll provide translation. Wit, can you say that in Thai, please? If there is anything that I want to put in the chat, please send me a message Okay, so notifications. The next thing, comments and making them better. You saw a, a alluding to how to make comments better. Often we're putting, wow, great, good job. And I really like that, but we wanna make them better. For example, wow, 
explain what it is. I like the way that you use the math language or great, but could you give me more detail about the photo you took? So you're asking your son or your daughter to explain more. Good job. I wonder if you could show us that at home too. So you're bringing it out of the seaside environment into your home <laughs> or from downstairs. You can show us downstairs if, if uh, Johnny's upstairs in his room. <laughs> I really like that because you explained in two languages, okay? So add more to the comments, add questions, uh, not just the wow or great because it, it expands and it turns into a conversation. You also uh, have the speech feature and that's over on the right hand side. So if your sons or daughters don't uh, read that well, you can just speak to them and, and say uh, the comments. Okay, privacy. This is often a question. If you see posts of your child or those, you, you only see posts of your child and those that your child is tagged in. So for example, I can see Mickey if he's been tagged. That's my son, by the way. But sometimes uh, multiple children are tagged. As you can see in this here, uh, there were other kids. So e each kid that is tagged, those parents can see that photo or that video or that artwork or, or uh, whatever the learning was. So sometimes, and you can see who can see it because of the names at the top of that, okay? Han, do you have a question? Uh, I accidentally raised my hand. I was about to use chat. Okay. But, cool. Okay, my mom mm -hmm. is doing grade one, two, and then uh, we don't know how to go into uh, doing four. I'm gonna help. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Three, four. Uh, yeah. So another concern is that students might be uh, uploading things and it might be inappropriate. Learning designers have to review and approve items before they're put up, okay? And they can also send things back. And so up here, you can see that they can send back items and they won't do it too often, but if something needs to be updated, uh, if they've done the, the something wrong or they can embellish it and make it better, then we have the send back feature. And we can also delete posts. Uh, and comments made by learners. So that that is just, just showing you behind the scenes what the learning designers have. So it doesn't just automatically stream. Uh, things are vetted. Just. Oh, okay, I said that, I said that. Okay. Uh, another thing, just as I had alluded to and mentioned before, is that uh, CISA is totally compliant with the GDPR, the FERPA and uh, AMFIP. I don't well as COPPA. So these are just international laws and uh, things that make sure that there's, uh, there's everything safe for an environment for our sons and daughters. Uh, when you're responding via text, uh, you have the option to add other items. So you can put uh, things in like photos, drawings, uh, videos, uploads, notes, and links. So you have that option to send uh, to you the, the learning designers, teachers, and learning assistants. And uh, I think that th this is now an option that well, just goes back and forth for it, its standard. So CISA used to make it so that you could only send something to the parent, to the, to the learning designers when uh, they sent something first, but now it's just an option that's available. You can send something to them right away. Okay. And I think your uh, your microphone's still on. Oh yeah, sorry. Thank you. Uh, CISA, not recently, but last year they added translation tools. So anytime you see something in there that you don't quite understand, they do have the Thai translation there for you. Uh, hopefully it translates well, but sometimes we know that uh, the translation is not completely fantastic, but it's there for you as an option. And then behind the scenes. So we have a lot of uh, apps and a lot of other programs that we will be sending out. Now, these were some of the grade three, four apps that we were using all near the end of the year. Uh, these might be different per grade level and per cohort uh, group, but uh, we create links to them and we put that right into CSAS so that kids can just jump out and be able to access things in there. 
Uh, we also thought I'd show you. So this is like behind the scenes. Anytime that kids are putting items in, we can see. So the green means that they've put the item in. The red means that it's not in there yet. The you can see down. There's uh, there's this one here. It means that it's in draft. And uh, so teachers can see everything that's going on and they can sort by student, they can sort by folder or by skills or, or roles of the learner, as well as by activities. So there's, there's a lot in there uh, of data and, and parents are often going, well, how are you keeping track of what kids are doing? CISA is doing that all for us. They've got that in there. It's fantastic for us to see everything and just have a quick glance over. And we can also, as soon as this stops for a second, we can also uh, see which activities uh, based on the dark green are, are, have been fulfilled completely, which activities still need a lot of uh, student responses. Um, maybe like this yellow one here hasn't had a lot of student responses for some reason. So that helps us guide our next uh, planning for CESA activities and lessons that we're going in there because we can go, this was uh, very active. We wonder why we can look at the data and work from that. Tom, Tom, we got a question in the chat that says, okay. which uh, username and password would the kids use to sign in to other apps? Would it be their school email and passwords? Uh, e emails and or passwords. So this talking about emails and passwords, uh, all the emails this year have changed. So to sign into CESA, they're using their new email address with their old password. And if anybody needs uh, access to anything, they can contact me. I'll put my email address up at the end. Please remind me. Actually, I'll put my email address right now to everyone in here. So tom.johnson at verso.ac.th is my email address. If you have any, uh, you can't get into anything, whether it's mathematics or Raz Kids or CISA or whatever, please contact me after this session and I can get you logged in but they will use their new email addresses that start with nine zero something, something, something instead of the two zero one from last year. Um, and then different apps have different ways to access. So Mathletics uses their own uh, thing and same with Raz Kids. So it depends which app we're logging into, okay? okay. But I think the important thing to note there is that your, your child's learning designer will communicate all of that to you. It's, okay. not, it's not something that you need to go out and create yourself. It's not something that um, you know you need to worry about at this time. Um, once we're onboarded into Seesaw, then through Seesaw, we will share um, and communicate the links and passwords for those other apps. Yeah. Uh, Prodigy is special. Uh, and so, We've been asked, we are here, we are new here this year. If the kids already have these app accounts, can they transfer information or how, do they have to start over? For example, Prodigy. Prodigy uh, uh, does transfer over. And I can show you what we've got for three, four, and uh, I'll send this out to the grade one twos as well uh, so that the teachers and learning designers know about this because Prodigy can uh, have the kids just, uh, let me show that right now while it's, uh, while we're talking about it. So in, sorry, uh, I'm just gonna carry this over for a second. In Prodigy, you can see that it says your class code. So you can ask for the teacher's class code and have your students sign into the Prodigy account, select update on the start screen and enter the new class code so that they can uh, join that other class. Okay, so that was, and then I'm just trying to find the chat. There was other questions. New email addresses are numbered that start with nine zero. Yes, we are we are new here, and we need help setting up both CISA family and uh, CISA class. Okay, uh, Notapol, I can help you after this as well. I need to leave the meeting. Thank you. I'll come back to uh, the recording. Okay, <laughs> great. Okay, so I will help Kim, Pan, and Notapol after the uh, session. Going on, just thinking about family members to join. Don't just have, in the past, they called it the CISA uh, uh, parent app. Now uh, they've called it the family app because get grandparents, get 
aunts and uncles to join too, because especially the grandparents might be retired and have uh, a lot of extra time. And often we've seen that they are ones that will reply and, and uh, really engage and interact with the kids uh, more than parents sometimes. And then if you leave Verso, they have the option to download the journal uh, archives. And you what you need to do that is uh, just a computer that's got lots of spare space. And we can guide you through that. Not that we're asking you to leave, but we can guide you through the steps for doing that. OK, so everything comes. It's nice in folders and everything for you. It's everything, pictures and videos. And it's all sorted for you by year, uh, as you can see here. So you can see. Uh, all the folders by the month, and then everything that's within that folder. Hi, I'm Angela. Welcome to Seesaw. Today, I'm going to give you a tour of the Seesaw Family app. Seesaw makes viewing and connecting with your children's learning easy. Let's get started. When you launch the family app, you sign in and you will see the home tab. From home view, you can see recent posts from all of your children in one place. The home tab will show you work for the last 60 days. Teachers can also turn on options so you can like and comment on your child's work. Tap the heart icon to like. Tap the comment icon to leave a text or voice comment. Looking at the bottom of the screen, You'll also notice the Journals tab. Once you tap Journals, you can select any of your children's portfolios to explore more deeply. First, tap your child's name, then select the class you want to explore. Just scroll to see content. You'll notice at the top, tap on Calendar View to see items from specific dates without having to scroll endlessly. If you prefer the feed view, Simply tap the feed view. Another great feature in the Family app is the ability to filter work by folders. Students and teachers can add work to folders to keep their Seesaw portfolio organized. If you tap on the filtering tool at the top, you can filter to a specific folder such as writing. Now I'll only see my child's writing work. If you want to explore a different class or year, go to the upper left and tap the back arrow. Now let's peek at the inbox tab. On the bottom right, tap inbox. Tap on messages to see a list of messages. To read a message, just tap on it to open. You can also send a private message to the teacher. The message you send in the inbox tabs are only visible to the teacher. If a teacher responds to your message, you will see a red circle appear in inbox. Simply tap the message to view. If you tap on the notifications tab, you will see a list of the most recent activity in your children's journals. Now, let's review. Tap home to see recent posts from all of your children in one place. Tap journals to browse full portfolios from all of your children's classes and sort by folders. Tap inbox to view messages and notifications from the teacher. We hope you enjoy the new Seesaw Family app. Thank you for supporting your child and their learning. Okay. And you can do this if you like. You can tell us something that was uh, most valuable uh, that you learned or that you know about CISA. We look forward to those comments. If not, we have uh, time now for other questions and getting uh, the specific three students logged in and adding other children. OK, I'm just going to go out right now. Let's see. So. Uh, stop sharing. If you have no further no further questions, I can uh, help specific people out. Uh, Nick can help people out as well. 
and we can put you into uh, breakout rooms so you can just stick around. If we've answered everything, then you're uh, free to go. <laughs> and if you'd like to watch the video again, please email me and I can send you the link or if a friend uh, wasn't able to attend, then I can uh, send you the link to share to them as well. Let's see, we have somebody else. Where is the download journal tab? Uh, the download journal tab is on the computer. You have to use a, a computer to do that. And if you, I can send the link for uh, how to download, download. I'm just putting a link in here for doing that further. Can we download the portfolio from last year? It will download every year uh, that your son or daughter is at Verso. And so it will all come together. So you can download, but it's still there. So when you, uh, if you stay another year, it just adds to that portfolio. Can we download the portfolio from last year on the CISA app as well? Not on the app. No, you have to be on a computer because, and it will, and it might take like a full day to download it because it's really big. It's videos and pictures and you have to have uh, a lot of space on your computer. Info didn't disappear. I'm going to share my screen again and show you uh, where things are. Okay. So, sorry, here we go. And you see my screen. Right, participants. And just make it bigger. So I'm looking in my sons. And when I'm in here, I can come into journals. And I can see here that there's five classes. So I'm going to click on that. And when I look, I see that this is year 21. That's last year's. So if I want to see all of his stuff from last year, or the Chinese classes or whatever. And then year 22, that's the end of this year. So if I want to see anything from last year, it's not missing. It's just in journals. When I come in and I want to see, I'm going to go into last year's class and I can see everything from the last year. Okay. Uh, so it's all there. Nothing goes missing. It's, it's all there. Okay. What else? I, I, I'll just start off by answering the question in your last slide, Tom, um, sure. as a parent mm -hmm. uh, and as a parent of a child, you know, who started at Versa last year, she was two years old and now she's three years old. She's going into EY3. My daughter, um, you know, didn't engage with Seesaw as much. So um, myself and my, my wife had set up the structure for it. But what we found really useful is that it, it, the voice comments for feedback allows her to engage so even for early years kids you can you can start to um, create feedback comments and a feedback loop um, and also like like you guys mentioned with the storing and preserving of all the videos and the images it really does become a window into the classroom and a nice memory I mean we, we tend to think of yearbooks as as that memory but I really think Seesaw is is the next level in terms of capturing the growth and the learning. And then for, in my case, for my daughter, it was just a great memento to capture that moment in time. And I could go back and watch it just as like Tom showed. So I would say that to me is the most valuable aspect of Seesaw, that it's not, it's not static. It's a window into the classroom and it, and it really works when we all are involved and when we work it. Okay. Uh, if there are no other questions, then I'm going to work with uh, Pan and uh, Notapo to get you guys all signed up and, and in. Uh, and thank you, everybody else, for attending. And if you do have any questions, do just take down my, uh, my email and contact me, or you can contact Ms. Mihoko, who's here, about uh, other bigger and greater things. Any last words, Ms. Mihoko? Yeah, if anybody else needs to stay behind because they're having specific issues, stay here and we can maybe we can all split up and break out into groups to help. So if anybody else is having specific problems logging in or has specific questions, we can help you. Um, yesterday, 
you probably got emails. So this is for everybody. You probably got emails, especially if you're new to the school from me, uh, from CESA, asking you to join your son's and your daughter's uh, CESA family app. So please check your emails. Uh, it was sent to both your Verso email and your personal emails. There should be something in there that guide you through the process to be able to get set up on your sons and daughters family app. Now for them to log into CESA, that's another thing I can get you uh, specifically. So uh, Notapol, can you tell me, uh, your, your, your son is in our class, right? Hi, yeah, oh. I actually have two sons. Okay. And um, well, my problem is I'm able to get into a seesaw um, for my for my older son now, but I cannot. I maybe I'm I might accidentally erase my younger sons from the seesaw. Which one? Um, Paul. Is it the family or the class? Uh, oh, I'm talking about the seesaw family right now. Okay. Um, and I haven't been able to get into the seesaw class yet. And I, I, I just want to remind you that um, our son's iPad hasn't come yet. We ordered from Apple and there's some kind of problem and it, it will come in next month. So okay. our son has to use my, my iPad for now. So I'm trying to set all the things up onto my iPad for them. I'm going to take you into a breakout room. I'm going to create a, a couple breakout rooms right now. And we've got uh, four people here who can help. And so we'll try going into different breakout rooms. I'm going to go into breakout room one with you. Uh, and so let participants choose. I just want to say hi real quick to one of the parents that I, that I know. Hi, Nan. <laughs> okay. I just okay. realized that she's in here. So. So we'll talk we've, later, got, okay? <laughs> we've got four breakout rooms and four uh, teachers who can help and, and uh, who can help. So I'm going to go into breakout room one. Uh, Not to pull, why don't you come with me? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now, I need this. I need to listen to. Where do you want me, Tom? Do you want me to go to another breakout room? Yeah, I'm going to go to another breakout room. Oh, no, he's gone. Where is he? Where is he? What other questions are in the room? So maybe we can. Yeah, the rest of us can answer from here. It looks like Tom went to a, a breakout room, but we're happy to just to help get you on board. Yeah. Well, my son cannot enter the RAS kids. Um, can anyone enter RAS kids already, or we need to wait for the term to start tomorrow? What 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 year level is your son? Um, he is in grade three. Three. Okay, so he would have, did he have a Raz Kids account last term? Yes, yes, he has, but, but he cannot go in right now. Ah, because our emails changed. Okay, uh, so it might, it, uh, new classes have been set up on Raz Kids, so we're all ready to go with Raz Kids, but the kids have not been given their passwords or their new usernames. So tomorrow, he, if he does not get that information tomorrow, that's something that it's all set up and ready to go. It's just over the summer, we went we changed email addresses. So it made, um, we have to first make sure that everybody has logged into their new email address and has set that up first. So, um, oh, Sonic, hi Sonic. Yeah, so Sonic, what will happen is um, you'll get your first, make sure you can log into your new Verso email. And then, um, and your, I think your parents were sent the instructions for that. And then tomorrow ask uh, Dr. Tom or, um, Miss Katie for the Raz Kids account tomorrow, uh, new password, okay? Okay. And if you, I mean, write yourself a little note so you don't forget to ask. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank what you. Other, no problem. What other questions are sort of in the room? I see Prize. Hi, Prize. I can't log into the. I still have the old seat. Seesaw, but that new seesaw, I can't see it anymore. Okay, it probably is that you don't have anything on your new seesaw yet. No, I mean, I can't log into the new seesaw. At all? Yeah. I'm on can the you, old. Can you, um... 
What email are you using? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Which Hi. email are you using? The new one. Okay, so you've logged into your new email. Good job. And you changed your password to something that nobody else knows. Don't tell us. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so you did you uh, actually? Let's check. I can check to see if you're connected to the seesaw. So let's see. Nick, do you have the, the seesaw open by any chance? I can I can pull it up now. Okay. Prize, it may mean that we have to send you a new invite, but I don't think there's anything on there yet, buddy. Okay. Um, okay, wait. Hold on, I'm checking to make sure you're connected. Prize. Okay, but Prize, can you see um, like the... No, Prize, you are connected. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, you see, Prize? Um, Prize, can you share your screen? Prize, do you want to go into a breakout room with um, maybe... Nick, do you want to help him or do you want me to help him? Uh, I don't have access to his three, four class. Okay. I'm just wondering what he sees now on his homepage okay. because it may be very similar to what I see on my homepage. Um, like Mihoko said, no one's posted anything yet. So everyone's getting a very general overview of their seesaw. It may look like you're not logged in, but you actually are. So I Price, can you log into your, can you share your screen? I actually, right so now? I'm on the, another Zoom. You're on another device. Okay. okay. So it might mean, you might need to go, you know where you can change classes, like on the top left where your name is? Yes. And you can change for, you can see like Miss, uh, Mr. Joe's class, or you can see all your, seesaw classes yes you might need to click on the the c the cohort three four and it should say y-22 click on that yes, one I, i'm on it okay and then you there's one post on there right now and it's just a link to zoom do you see that yes that then then you're on so here i'll show my, sure share my is. screen you're in so if you see this right now prize you're in your new um you're in the new uh, seesaw. You're in the right yes, place. I see, I see it. Okay, cool. So you have to go to the one that ends with 22 because that means that you are um, in this year's seesaw class. It's confusing for you because your seesaw class is probably the same. Oh, my own one is gone. Okay, good. All right. Great. How's the price? You're all good for tomorrow, right, Price? All right. Well, can, okay, if you don't have any other questions, we can see you tomorrow. Awesome. What other questions do we have we can help you with? Anybody having trouble logging in? Oh, hi. Uh, I cannot log into my uh, daughter's CSAP either. I still like have no email. And can you see it? Yeah. Once we tap on the student account, then it needs the class you know, text code. Okay, so I can send you the class text code. So you're going to be in three, one, two, right? Right. Okay, so let me just, um, you should have gotten an email. Uh, did, did only new families get an email yesterday, Nick? Um, I think so, yes. Uh, the only email I got yesterday is that text. Yeah, is that Sure, text okay, text so today. let me send you... Um, and it might, you know what? I think it'll just be easier if I send it to your email because I have your email. Yeah. Um, but we'll I'll send it. To, so you get that and then it will just come to your email. Then you will scan it, a QR code or have the code. And you'll, right. you'll yeah, it. yeah, it's a, it's a website. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a link that I'll send you. I'll send that to you right now. Okay, uh, also for the, Family apps, is there going to be a 2021 folder? Because right now I only see the 20, the last semester folder. Meaning like uh, your archive? Is that what you mean? Like finding the stuff from last year? Is that what you're asking? Uh, I mean that, is there going to be a new folder for this year? Yeah, there, there will be a new folder for this year. It just haven't been created yet. I'm, I'm oh, sure okay. tomorrow when the kids start, uh, the learning designer will guide you through it. 
yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's no content yet to put it in there. Um, but mm -hmm. that stuff from before is also, like Tom said, it's showing you that it's still available. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I think it might be because you haven't connected to the new, because you've changed classes completely. So I'm going to send oh, you the link now. So once you go through the directions for that link, you might see something on there, but there's not much on there right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll, I'll, let me, I'm looking for your email now. I'll send it to you. But like you said, you won't lose anything from your previous class. It's all going to still be there. Um, once you're on a computer, not a mobile device, you can then download and extract anything from last year that you may want to keep. But it's all still there in the Seesaw cloud. Uh, do you know like how many space that we need to download those uh, portfolio? Because right now my Mac is already full. It's <laughs> Yeah, I don't, it's pretty contingent, like on how many videos or how much um, mm -hmm. like engagement or comments or audio files or images. Um, but I can have a look. I, I think if you have at least like half a gig, you should be okay. Because um, it's a zip, it's a zip file, so it, it actually compresses it into one really small file. Um, what I do usually with that is then I move it to an external hard drive or a cloud service before I open it. Once you open it, then it expands and takes up more space. So just kind of think ahead about where you want to store it and and but know that the zip file itself you can, you'll have for anywhere really um, wouldn't take up too much space at the beginning is there anyone else that's uh, having difficulties or maybe just has a general question right now just to help set them up tomorrow Mihoko, I'm, I'm not sure if uh, Miu and mom need any kind of support. Uh, uh, she, she's been waiting, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I don't know Is where she's gone. Mihoko can get help. Yep, Han, what, sorry. Uh, what is that, what is that for? Okay, hold on, let me move, make my screen big. Ah, Mathletics. You're gonna have a new password and a new um, login for that. So you're gonna have to wait till tomorrow, okay, Pon? Tomorrow for all the RAS kids and- Yeah, and Mathletics, cause we had to change emails. Uh, okay, then just, just type it in uh, Gmail. I'll be keeping my eye on my Gmail. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll let DJ know that you need that, okay? I'll okay. send you random, you want me to send you random math problems? <laughs> No, you want to do mathletics. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, I see Miyu's mom. Do you have any questions? Daijoubu desu ka? Yokatta desu. Okay, let's see. She's fine. She's going to, okay. So Pan, mathletics, and Sonic wanted to have Raz kids. Raz kid too. And I'll just make sure who else needed Mathletics or um, Res Kids, Pon and Sonic. So they're in three, four. We'll get you'll get that tomorrow. Yep. If anybody else needs individual help, I can take somebody into breakout room one. Does anybody need some help? Pun did, is pun sorted. Yeah, Pun just needs his um uh, password. Uh, Pun and Sonic just need their new passwords uh, for Mathletics and Raz Kids. But I told them tomorrow you'll find out all that information. Yes. They're just so excited. Okay. So I I told I volunteered. I asked Pun if he wanted me to send him some random math problems, but he said he'd wait till he has Mathletics login, which okay. is more fun. Quick square root of seventy four plus Pun, <laughs> twenty two times. <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Tom, I, I could use some help in the breakout room. Okay, I'll, I'll take you into, let's go to breakout room one. I'm going to take you there now. Yes. Okay. It's me, Hoko. Yes. Uh, I got your email already, but I haven't found Lynn's name on their class yet. Okay, I will double, you know what? It may mean because um, it was, her name was added like, late last week so i'll just make sure she's on the list um but just keep that link because once um she's actually officially added to seesaw 
Um, Cause I know she was added later to the spreadsheet. So I'll just make sure that Tom has added Lynn to the um, class, but we okay. will be ready. Yeah. In fact, I think I could do it, ah, but I want to make sure I get the numbering right. Right, Nick? I was like, I can do it, but Tom has added everybody in a specific way. I don't want to mess up the system. So I'll just make sure that Tom adds uh, Lynn and um, cause and somebody else is new to the class too. I'll make sure she adds that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone else questions? You're free to go if you don't have any questions or if you if you um, if you want to leave. But you know we are around if you need help. Um, so any questions now? We we can probably either point you in the right direction or or help solve your problem now. I'm gonna leave now. Bye bye. Nice to see you all here. Yeah, nice to see you again. Nice to see you bye. again. Bye. bye. See bye, bye. in. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, Pon. Are you see? We'll see you later. Okay, Pon. See you tomorrow. Find a way. <laughs> oh, he's already gone. <laughs> he's already worried gone. we'll give him more math problems. <laughs> you so excited for tomorrow? Oh, good, 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 yeah. good. We're all excited too. We're yeah. excited. I'm so I'm glad. Pond, you, Pond, you see the link for tomorrow, right? You know where to go tomorrow morning? No. No. <laughs> he can answer that. <laughs> Pond, you need to know. It's, this is your, you're in a 3 4 now. We have to, we're expecting you to be able to answer you, all the questions. You're a big boy, Pond. You can do it by yourself, everything. So, Pond, see that? That's where you're going to click tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Okay? Okay. And come with a smile and be, be you'll be fine. Okay? No. Not a frown. I Not a only, frown. I cannot afford, I cannot get a smile. I can only have a frown. I can't. Okay, then we'll have to get you a filter. <laughs> <laughs> a smile filter. <laughs> Maybe you need a smile mask or something. Oh yeah, you could put on a mask that has a smile on it. There you go. <laughs> and then I'll flip it over. And it'll be You're sad you can flip it over so we can see. No, it's important. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we'll see you tomorrow, okay, Pon? Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Anyone else with questions? I don't know. Wait. Maybe they need Trent. I don't know who's. So I have. May have a me. Hey, uh, need some help. Or anything about the seesaw? May have. I'm reaching out in the chat privately, just in case.
Okay, well, I'm not sure if anyone is actually there. Right. All right, well then, I think we're good. Yeah? Thank you, Wit, for your help. Thanks, Wit. Oh, please. Good. That was it's good to see some I didn't, of those I didn't kids. Get to do much. <laughs> it, was, it was good to see those fun. kids, though, wasn't it? It was so good oh, to see nice. them. Oh, <laughs> it's like nice. Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna have to crash everybody's community time tomorrow. I'm, I'm planning to do that. <laughs> um, I, I, if I need admin access like I used to, do I just communicate that with Tom? Seesaw? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just ask, ask yeah. Tom. Okay. I'm going to need it as well because I currently just have it for EY4 and 4, 5, and 2, 3. So I couldn't answer the question before. Me, don't go. In the past, okay. we've all had access to all classes, but the way it's set up now, I think I'm going to. Okay. Well, I'm drafting an email to Tom right now about um, Lynn. So I'll just add you guys. Don't worry yeah. about emailing. Yeah, thanks. Okay, Thank cool. You. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Yeah, thank Bye. you. Bye. See you, Nick. See you. Bye.